Welcome back to Main Street Living. COVID-19 is affecting everyone across the planet, no matter where you are, no matter who you are. And our next guest is going to provide some interesting insight about the pandemic. And she is Rebecca Costa, an American sociobiologist and futurist. Love the title. Welcome to Main Street Living. Good to see you. Well, thank you for having me. So explain to us first what exactly you do, because this is a really unique title. Well, I'm an expert on fast adaptation in high failure rate environments, and that's a lot of words. But what it basically means is that when we encounter a sudden change in the environment, whether it's a business environment or an ecological environment, uh, there are certain strategies which allow us to adapt successfully, nimbly, quickly, and some strategies which don't work and cause people to go into a downward spiral that's unstoppable. Yeah, and I feel like that's what's happened to our economy. I mean, really the economy globally. And how is COVID-19 affecting people? I mean, from your perspective, what are you seeing with human behavior? Well, it's affecting us in a lot of ways. I mean, whenever we face a danger, we're, you know, from an evolutionary standpoint, we're a pack animal. So We tend to join together, collaborate to fight off enemies that are larger than any one individual can fight off. So uh, this is why films where aliens are attacking us or there's a large meteor that's going to hit the earth. Suddenly, you know, all wars are off and politics go go to the wayside and all countries join together to fight off that common enemy. And I think that's what you see happening right now. That's a perfectly natural uh, evolutionary instinct is to collaborate and join together, whether it's neighborhoods or families or, or, or um, nations. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a fight or flight. And what are your thoughts now on states starting to reopen? Because we are seeing that. And does this concern you at all? Or are you worried about a second wave? Well, I I am worried. Um, You know, I, I have a lot of concerns like everyone else that we may be reopening a little bit too early and we're going to see another spike. Um, And another spike means uh, more people dying. Um, It's, it's too early to, um, you know, take the foot off the gas pedal uh, in my, my opinion. But again, I'm an evolutionary biologist and I'm a scientist by training. So obviously if there's a trade-off between lives or economy, uh, you know, I, I, I would tend to err on the safer side. I think this is a case mm-hmm. where better safe than sorry is the right approach to take. But again, you know, I, I, I'm a scientist by training and I understand that there's a lot of dangers associated with people uh, getting uh, too relaxed. Uh, we tend to be very impatient about these kinds of things. You know, the idea that that the only thing we had to do was stay home. I mean, how, how bad is that? We weren't asking for your right arm. We were just asking you to stay sheltered for 30, 60, 90 days. And the fact that society has a hard time with that really is uh, speaks volumes, I think. Before we go, Rebecca, what advice do you have for our viewers watching regarding COVID? I, I would say that if you're in the vulnerable population, which I happen to be, Uh, don't worry so much about, you know, reopening and getting out there and socializing, you know, take this time to, to be more introspective and enjoy uh, parts of your life that you may not have been able to enjoy because you were rushing around or had lots of responsibilities or obligations, but don't be so quick to go out and socialize if you're amongst the vulnerable population. All right. Very good advice. Great to hear your insight about this as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me and thank you for the good work you're doing. Absolutely. No problem at all.